My name is Adam Watkins. I'm a professor of photography at the University of Utah, Weber State University, and Westminster College. I just picked up a course there uh, in the last semester and really enjoy it. I, uh, I'm an artist. I work in the medium of photography. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I do. And I make really strange, I would call them strange photographic narratives. Um, well, I was uh, a storyteller when I was a little kid. And in fact, I, I got in trouble for telling stories, outlandish stories, uh, some of which I'm still quite proud of today. Uh, and my father was a, an avid photographer. I never pictured myself as a uh, photographer, though. I uh, didn't think that that would be uh, a, a road that I traveled down. Uh, being forced to, you know, kind of sit for him as uh, he, he played in the studio was kind of a in like a jail sentence, something that you had to do when you know you were misbehaving. You was like, you know, sit in front of the camera and hold still. But um, yeah, as I got older, and uh, you know, I got accustomed to to being in front of the camera more. I did uh, some modeling and things like that, and I, I really uh, was looking for some some direction. I saw photography as a um, you know kind of a, a catalyst to some mentorship. And it, it, didn't, it didn't come in the way that I had expected, but uh, boy, you know, moving down to Salt Lake serendipitously into uh, uh, an apartment right next door to the university's head of photography and uh, across the street from Don Busaith, who's a very, very well-known international portrait artist and photographer. One thing that I see that is somewhat unique, I think, um, uh, given the advancement in uh, digital technology, um, post-processing, and things like that, that has, you know, kind of become a new reason why people take photographs, is something else that's perhaps a little bit more concerning, and that's a uh, what a look what I can do kind of kind of uh, reason but we're so heavily inundated with lifestyle imagery on Instagram and other things like that that you know we have all types of complexes that arise from that body dysmorphic disorder for hell's sake you know it's like what is that what is that you know, if not the result of uh, hyper real imagery right? propagated through media so, sure Right. So, so what other type of complexes are we wor are we working on, and what are we going to do about that? Is a question that I don't think is received enough attention or uh, or concern. 